pull the thread a little bit on that on consumerism. Um, yeah. I in my 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 big joke is that I tried finding the the educated healthcare consumer for years and and never succeeded. And every time I ran, you know, I battled to try and make one or, or encourage one. I ended up running up a white flag. So I, I was like, eh, I give up. I'm I'm never henceforth going to expect anyone to know anything about healthcare and, and just build programs accordingly. But uh, so you, you I'd be interested you had, in knowing your process. Yeah, you had a little of the same experience that I did, and, and I think the other. Again, I'm not saying that all consumerism is bad. Um, so again, I, I find all any kind of absolute is just you know is, is prone to being wrong. So I just don't speak in any absolutes. But I think what happened, you know, at least my observation with consumerism, is it kind of became a little bit of a of a an easy way out for employers to say, we can't, we can't make these decisions. We're just going to burden our employees with them. Yeah. And, and, you know, if you start to think about the decisions we were asking them to make, okay, you got to make generics, you've got to seek second opinion services. You've got to look for freestanding, you know, growth, all of these sort of things that we made them. We, you know, we, we kind of, we turned benefits into something employees had to deal with as opposed mm -hmm. to something that brought value. It's like, mm, like every that. time, oh yeah. crap, I got an EOB. I got to read this damn thing and try to figure out what the hell it says. Or I got a denial. I've got to jump through loops to figure out what was going on. So what we as employers have done is we just kind of, we couldn't figure it out. And we just said, oh, we're going to make them educated consumers. And what we really did was just overburden employees. You know, And another one of my wise mentors said, look, if you want employees to not remember anything, tell them 10 things. If you really want them to remember things, tell them three. And if I had three things I wanted to tell my employees, it's have a primary care doctor, take your preventions, get your annual physicals. If you, you know, if you can exercise, eat well, and if you have a health condition, manage it and let it, and we have tools that can help you. Those are the three things I think they are empowered to do. I think where we ran into play is we made them take on decisions that we could be doing, that we could be building into the, into the ecosystem. We should really push them and have them only make the decisions that they are the only ones that they can make. Now, we can't drive them to the physicals, but that, so that has to come from them. But we can make providers implement second opinion services. Why do we have to make employees do it? Why can't, you know, part of our healthcare plan, any doctor that prescri that prescribes spinal surgery, you know, hey, you know what, doc, you've got you to get a second opinion before you can administer it. Make it part of the healthcare system. Hey, you know, you know, prescription drugs. Great idea. How did, did they just recommend to their friend or did they have to send them back to a, a service or yeah. how, did, how did they do that? That's just fascinating. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and, and even kind of some of the work we did in pharmacy, you're, you're managing you know, diabetes for your patient, your patient's A1Cs are below seven they <coughs> a year. Are they compliant? Are they not, are you not prescribing enough? Whatever, whatever the situation is, something needs to change. Do you, are you even getting the data <laughs> as a provider of care? You'll go through. So I think there's a lot of things we can move upstream in the healthcare system to take some of all those decisions off and really, again, make only make employees make the decisions that only they can make. And I think that's, sort of the differentiation of consumerism. I think I think we made we way overburdened them with 15,000 decisions that at the end of the day didn't really drive they didn't really drive good health. They just saved some money for us <laughs> as the employer and you know just you know created a burden for employees to have to deal with.